right, I sewed all of these edges and now I'm gonna sew the ties on. So I actually have the slip cover on right side out now because um, I want to see exactly where the ties are going to be. It's kind of easier at this point to work with it right side out. So um, this is the bottom piece and then this is the top piece that's going to overlap. So for the top piece, I'm going to put the tie behind and that's where I'm going to sew it in. So I'll pin it here. And I'm doing a separate post to show how I made these ties, but just in a nutshell, I basically made um, a double fold, double wide bias tape um, to make these little ties out of the same linen. They are made out of strips of fabric that are 24 inches long and two inches wide. And then I folded it both sides in, folded it in again and ironed it and then ran a stitch along the side and made these little ties. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna um, use four ties, so I needed eight, one for each side. And making the ties is one of the most, it's just tedious, it's not hard, but I kinda don't like doing it, but I did it. So I'm gonna position the tie, um, on the other side, it's going to be on the outside because that's where it has to be. So these will tie up and meet like that. And I've got this one folded under to hide that raw edge. So we've got that one done. We want to pull it tight, make sure that we're getting the ties close enough together. and. I'm just, at this point, I'm kind of eyeballing where it looks like a tie should be, but I might adjust those as I go. We'll see. This is just kind of testing it out. And it, it, I mean, if you're super particular, you can measure this out. I'm just really not all that particular. For me, it's about, um, for me, it's about an aesthetic choice. Does it look good to the eye? And I will take a step back and look at it and make sure that I feel like it does look good to the eye. That's gonna look great. Okay, so I'm gonna stitch those on. Um, you can either use a sewing machine or hand stitch. So I'm gonna try the sewing machine, see if it works, and if it doesn't, then I'll hand stitch it on. Then we're going to add the piping and the skirt, trim all the threads, and we're done. The ties are all sewn on and done. I've got the slip cover on inside out again, so I can pin on the piping. And this piping is gonna run around the bottom of the slip cover, and then the skirt will be attached onto that. And I used to try uh, for the sake of time, tried to put the piping and the skirt on all at one time, and it was just too many layers. So I've learned that putting on the piping, even though it's an extra step, it's an extra time pulling the slipcover off sewing, putting it back on, it gives a really nice edge to um, sew the skirt onto. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I think I'm going to try to get my the back in place here as best as I can just pin that and then I'm going to turn the end up I can talk a lot better without a pin in my mouth and um, follow the bottom of the chair to decide where to pin the fabric. So remember, we've got to have the raw edges going in the right direction. If you have, like I do, some of this bulk here, you can just kind of cut it off. It, it really helps. This is not my good pair of scissors, so I need to get figure out where those are. 
And what I've done is I've left a little bit of extra and I'm going to turn that under so that it will be on the inside. So I'll pin that. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep doing that. Turn it up. Follow the bottom of the chair, which will keep me on track and relatively straight. hidden back in here. Okay, and then I'm going to trim off the excess just to get rid of some bulk, make it a little bit easier when I'm sewing to see what I'm doing, and and then I'm going to sew on the skirt. Now, not everybody's going to want a skirt on their chair and that's okay. I just, I like skirts. I think, um, I think they're forgiving when, um, like the slip cover might not be completely straight, uh, which I am not known for my precision. So, um, all right, I cut everything. Um, so I think a skirt is forgiving and also my style tends to be a little bit more feminine. I like little details like that. So, um, so I'm going to add a little, just a small pleated skirt just to, um, finish it off. So I'll show how to do that after I sew this piping in place. The last step of this slip cover here is attaching the skirt and this, um, these strips right here, it's actually one really long strip is um, what I'm using as a skirt. So it's a four inch piece of fabric that I cut and then I sewed them all together. And um, there's really not like a set measurement for this is how long your skirt has to be. Um, for me, I like to have um, my skirt about double the width of the chair. So the full parameter of the chair about double that. So that's about what I did with the fabric I had left. And um, I decided I just want a short little pleated skirt. I don't want anything really long. I like these legs. I want to be able to see them. I don't want it to be too fussy. So um, I cut a four inch wide strip and then I ironed it in half. Um, and this way I don't have to, you either have to hem it or fold it. And I decided to fold it to give the skirt a little bit of volume too. So, from here, I'm going to start to pin it on, and I'm pinning on um, the top side of the piping, and again, making sure all of your raw edges are pointing the same direction. And then I'm going to just kind of gather it by hand like that, just to make little pleats. Now, um, one option is to just sew, kind of pleat it as you sew it. And I think actually that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Since I have it already cut and ironed and ready to go, I don't feel like I need to pin on every little bit. But you certainly can if you want a bit more precision and control, but I'm just gonna go with it. So let me show you this in action. So we've got the piping here, the skirt here. This is where I put my pins, which I'm just gonna kind of pull it out because I'm not gonna use those. Um, when you're working with piping, you've gotta use a zipper foot, which is a foot that um, allows basically room for the piping, but it'll push up close to it. Um, just gonna 
crinkle it and sew over it. So one thing I want to point out, it's always important to make sure that you have your slip cover that you've already made over off to the side so that you don't end up sewing like the back into the skirt, which I've done that many times. You can sort of get a sense of what that's going to look like. Just a nice little simple ruffled skirt.